And, and our next guest came to us because she was actually turned in by the tanning salon that she goes to every day, sometimes twice a day. Here's her story. Hey. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Number seven. I started tanning when I was 16 years old, and I lied about my age. I have a very specific routine. I like to tan 20 minutes a day with the Tingle Lotion. What it does is it raises the red blood cells to the surface of your skin to get you tanner and darker. I'm supposed to wear goggles. Most of the time I don't because I'm on my phone or I'm Facebook chatting. I think my daughter's tanning is out of control. The hotter the bed, the better the tan. <laughs> I think Tori's tanning is a bit obsessive. I tan every day. I tan twice a day sometimes. I spray tan um, once a week. It, it's called a cocktail tan. It's an addiction, and she can't stop it. I don't believe Tori, my little sister, thinks of the consequences of her actions just because of her free spirit, like, do whatever she wants type of attitude. I think it's really sad because Chloe's only 11 and she thinks that she needs to tan. I don't think I do know how to stop, to be honest, because I really hate my actual color. I think that if she doesn't tan, she feels bad, she feels guilty. It's like if she was on a diet and ate a french fry or something like that. I know that if I keep tanning the way I do, I probably will get skin cancer in the future, but I kind of don't really we already lost my aunt to melanoma six years ago. I was 17 and a half when my mom passed away. <laughs> it's hard to talk about it. She's my best friend. We did everything together. It's hard. It's not something you just get over. My Aunt Debbie was kind of like my second mom growing up. I try and separate like her death. Like I don't really think about how she died and that it was from skin cancer from tanning because I like to tan. I think she just feels that she's invincible to anything and it's not going to affect her, but long term it will if it hasn't already. I don't want to go through this again with Tori. There's no way our family could go through another loss, especially somebody so young. It upsets me because it might be okay now, but in 20 years, or however long it takes, it might not be okay. And she's gonna have a family of her own someday. And her kids are gonna have to go through what I went through, and I don't wish that upon anybody.